Two years ago, President Hagi Kengop promised during his State of the Nation address that government would enact a national sex offenders register and a child justice bill within 12 months. But that period has passed and the NBC News team approached the ministry responsible for drafting the legislation, seeking answers on the progress made on the president's promise. But when the president had made that pronouncement, um, reaffirming the need for us to think about additional measures that we need to introduce when you're talking about sexual offences, um, we had done some initial research, um, you know, at the level of the Law Reform and Development Commission, and, uh, and our initial findings were that there will be tension between having a sex offenders register and you know, a certain constitutional rights. Uh, for instance, the right to privacy, dignity, maybe even social st status. In a document published in 2022, the Legal Assistance Center questioned the possible introduction of such a register. It says one point of debate is whether persons who have committed hands-off offences, such as a possession of child pornography, would be included at all or treated differently from perpetrators of offences that involve direct physical contact, such as rape. Another question is whether juvenile offenders should be covered. Justice Minister Yvonne Donsap is aware of the LAC's views. She agrees with only some of their arguments. The draft legislation is ready, but there is one hurdle. So where we are is that we have done research, we have consulted, we have a draft uh, piece of legislation on sex offenders uh, in place. The biggest challenge that we have now is who should manage the register. The view of the minister concerning the management of the register is that the Ministry of Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security is best equipped and capacitated to be the keeper of such a register. What will then be the particulars contained in a national sex offenders register? Should we have that register in place? Definitely uh, the person's name. In, in some countries uh, they even have a picture. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that, but I think definitely the name of the person, um, if they're employed, where are they employed, uh, their residential address. Donsap promises total confidentiality for those who may be placed on the National Sex Offenders Register. Emil Khamro Seibeb, NBC News, Ventuk.